is Kyle Barriuga, and I'm an MIT student here at CWU. And I've been doing my senior project on the articulating fossil wood bridge. Uh, this quarter, I worked on the manufacturing phase of the project, and I'll be talking about the methods to manufacture and assemble of the device, the time and cost investments, and I'll demonstrate the device working. So some of the main manufacturing methods that were used to create all the parts for the device was cutting the fossil wood stock to the desired length. And cutting the stock consisted of using either a hacksaw or a bandsaw. And this method is used for all the parts that uh, use the fossil wood. Uh, since the stock comes in at one length, either at 12 inches or 36 inches, and from there they are just cut to length. Another manufacturing method requires a through hole. For some of the parts, see there, specifically the road deck and the vertical member for the articulation tower, a through hole is made using a drill press. Uh, if any of the pieces were cut a little bit longer than desired or they needed a chamfer, uh, they were sanded down using a belt sander or just sandpaper. And the last manufacturing method was 3D printing to make spool here and the three these parts were printed at the printing labs here at CWU. During the construction there were some manufacturing issues and risks. Uh, one that came up later in the quarter was realizing that the current design for the device was over the mass requirement of 85 grams so this required a redesign of the bridge that had all the parts sanded down from a one half inch by one half inch cross section to a one half by three eighths inch. Another thing that had to be addressed was making sure to have a partner in the woods lab um, as you couldn't be in there without one. So extra planning and scheduling has been made to even manufacture the parts in the first place. In assembly, the bridge is held together with wood glue since the design of the bridge since the design of the bridge has a road deck in between the lower horizontal member and then the rest of the bridge, the order that had to be glued in was very important. Uh, shown in these videos, the upper trusses were made without the uh, lower horizontal member. Uh, that, not that part was glued to the road deck first, and then after the trusses were assembled, then those would be glued together to get the shape of the bridge. When assembling the circuitries, the, it consisted of an Arduino that connects to a DC motor. Uh, the motor is controlled with two buttons, uh, one that spins the motor clockwise and the other counterclockwise, and then everything is powered by a 9 volt battery. Regarding the scheduling, uh, it had to be adjusted a few times to account for the shipping times and other issues, but for the most part, it was on time. As parts were shipped, it was important to plan for that downtime when I'm just waiting. So the schedule was designed to complete a task while others were in progress of completion. Throughout the quarter, I stayed mostly in budget, within the budget of $150. Uh, after all the parts were bought, the total came out to be 120, and that left a little bit of room for any extra expenses that I needed to make. Now, I'm going to demonstrate opening and closing the bridge. When I press this yellow button, it will raise the bridge to the required height, where the middle of the bridge is 140 millimeters high. Another, another requirement to design for was that the motor had to spin fast enough to open and close the bridge within 60 seconds. And I also had to make sure that the motor could hold the bridge at this height for at least 10 seconds, which it does. And then when I push this red button, the bridge will lower back down. So I've talked about the manufacturing methods to create all the parts, the requirements uh, and issues that comes with assembling the device and the time and cost investments and I've demonstrated that the device works. So with all of that, I feel I have successfully executed the manufacturing phase for the project and I'm ready to test for 